All right. Well, welcome. I want to introduce you guys to a wonderful instructor, super experienced, H. Werner Zimmerman. He's a Canadian illustrator, won lots of awards, and he is such a gifted anatomy professor. So we're so pleased that you continue to um, come to our summer camp to teach our students. So this year you're going to be teaching about the anatomy of the hand. Um, bring in all your toys and skeletons for us. So, um, so I'm a little bit, my first question, Werner, is um, maybe, maybe you could tell us a little bit about yourself so they can place you. Why am I so excited that you're teaching with us? So, you know, maybe where you teach or what you've done as a professor. Um, and I should ask, why are you so excited? No, I'm kidding. I am. <laughs> we no. are so pleased and the students always love it so much. So can you tell us where you teach or where you've been teaching um, and how you've developed your, you know, considerable experience and knowledge in uh, anatomy and figure drawing? Okay. Um, I started, I mean, I studied and I can't believe it's almost 50 years ago. I can't believe it. I studied at the University of Guelph Fine Art. And at that time, um, I actually didn't take anatomy. I was interested in drawing and figure drawing was something that they didn't really concentrate on. What happened was I is also, I'm a painter and I did a lot of high realism at that point. And I needed a study of an arm. And so I enrolled in human anatomy at the university and I, did some drawings of studied the arm. And then of course I dropped out of the course because I got what I needed, which was not the smartest. Um, but I got what I needed. I realized, you know, the importance of the anatomy, but then that sort of like just sort of slipped off to the side, although it kept coming up because I was an advisor to the Inuit up in the Arctic for a while. And of all things, I remember going hunting with them and when caribou was shot and it was being, you know, cleaned up, slaughtered, I was amazed at things like, well, if you just cut the muscles around the foreleg, it falls off. It's not attached to the skeleton, right. which I went, what? How can a leg not be attached to a skeleton? Because I hadn't studied animal anatomy. And then I also saw a polar bear being skinned, and I was shocked at how human-like that whole torso was. Mm. Again, it was like, whoa, what is, what is going on? And then... Following that, I ended up being an instructor at Sheridan in the animation department. How that happened is totally by accident. I won't go into that. But no. but what happened was I quickly realized, I mean, I was teaching life drawing. I could draw, but I realized how important anatomy truly was to the animators, not because they were asking for it, because, but because as they were drawing, there were problems always appearing. And it didn't come from the surface, it came from deep within. And so it was like, wait a sec, you have to understand deep down inside. And of course, all that drawing starts with the gesture, but you know, the bones, then the muscles, and bit by bit, um, I just, I learned more and more and more. And of course, animation is amazing because animation has to move things. So you have to know where it came from and where it's going. And in order to move it, it always came down to anatomy. Right, yeah. So, and you currently are teaching at Seneca in the animation program, correct? I am, I'm teaching um, at, 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 at Seneca. Yeah, yes. and I think you had some time at Humber in there too, even. Well, yeah, I taught it. I just taught at Humber for, I guess, three, four years. Um, I was supposed to, going to help them out for a semester and it ended up four years. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool too, but everybody has a different focus. Mm -hmm. But even there, it, because it's very much CG and computer animation, kind of, you know, like very much about special effects, but um, modeling. Modeling is very important at, at Humber. They do a spectacular job. But what we found out again, human, well, anatomy played a big role. Mm -hmm. And I suppose I could have pulled up some examples of their ZBrush modeling where they created creatures. And again, it started with a skeleton. It, you know, if anybody has seen um, How to Train Your Dragon, well, that was, all that was based on a cat and a bat skeleton. And so, you, you know, again, it always comes down to anatomy. And it's not 
anatomy for knowing anatomy. It's anatomy to make your drawings better. Yeah. Yeah. And, and be able to, to have structure and make your characters or animals, whatever, move. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It should be believable. Yeah. 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 Even if it's a creature, it, it's the, the craziest of creatures are still, there's a anatomical basis of it. So, you know, I mean, okay, we don't have to study the bones of a worm. <laughs> there are none. <laughs> You're better off with a slinky on that one. But, well, that slinky's got skeleton. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> still comes down to structure. Yeah. So, um, so this year, uh, you're doing one workshop because you're such a busy guy, but we're grateful that you're coming for that and it's the anatomy of the hand. Um, so for the workshop that you're teaching, um, what would you hope would be the top takeaway um, for those students? Because you know, I think that you know, we've got some younger students this year that are, are just keen to learn, they love animation. Um, and, and then of course, we're gonna have students that are soon to be applying to animation schools and they have those couple of drawings they have to do in their portfolio of the hand. Um, but so from that point of view, what do you hope the students get from the way you teach? What would be that sort of top takeaway that you'd hope they'd get from, you know, a one day workshop with you? Yeah, I know it's, it's uh, I mean, what can you do in one day? One but day, I know. But really what the takeaway is this, it's, it's like observe, like really look. I mean, seeing is so important. Realizing that inside the hand, there's just bones. This is a padded skeleton. And, and just understanding that. But the other part is that in animation, gesture is everything. So as my hands move around, I'm gesturing. These are gestures. Mm -hmm. So it also begins with a gesture. You put the structure into it you add the muscles or you pat it out with fat or the flesh or you know, I mean like this thick skin on, on you know the inside of the hand and so it's sort of like being aware of all these things it, that's my thing I want to point it out I want to show the how the elbow you know it's not the wrist that you know the arm rotates here at the elbow and sure the hands rotating but it's all beginning down here so yeah the takeaway is to just be more aware of it yeah yeah and I'm also curious, why did you decide in your busy schedule to still fit us in and be part of our camp? Why have you enjoyed um, participating in what we're doing at Port Prep in our summer camp and sometimes in the fall helping students out? Um, yeah, we wanted to know, why do you want to be part of this? Well, um, it's a great group. I, the students I've met have always been fascinating. They're really engaged there. And it's a very important age. The younger, the more important. Right. I, I don't believe in, you know, like, like we get students uh, at, at, you know, Seneca. I always teach first and second semester. It's important to start right. Yeah. And, and the thing is that I always wish that, oh gosh, I wish they had gotten stuff earlier, you know? And so what you're doing and Port Prep's doing is not only, you know, you're sure it's prepping a portfolio, but really it's sort of making them aware of what they need to do to be there. You can't just sugarcoat something. You can't put a wallpaper over it because that'll be seen very quickly. Oh, yeah. Really but the, hand, the, you know, the fact is that a hand, because the hand, you know, if you want to hide, how can I say it? If you want to show you can draw, you draw the hand. If you want to hide it, you hide the hands. Because the <laughs> fact is the hands tell the truth. And yeah. so it's so important that they really present good hands. And that comes from observation and studying their own hands. In fact, um, I mean, I, I've got, I suppose I could have pulled up, I mean. Yeah, can you show, you've got some nice drawings of hands on your, um, your website. Maybe okay. you can screen share. And, and yeah, these are studies for myself. So here, I'll share this, pop it over here, desktop. Do you see this now? Uh, yes, yes, we see it. All right, well, this is, um, okay, oh, wait, hit the link, okay. Hello, of course, the link, there. Why is this so small? Oh, there, it's bigger. These are hand rotations. I, I have a model, comes sometimes to my studio, sometimes to my house, and these are studies that of the hand turning a ball, and just the rotations. I mean, you can see it really is a skeleton that's, that's working and then the muscles that run down to the hand 
Um, I'm just going to go down and see if there's, oh, that's the small one. Let's go back. Oh, um, skeleton, stay here. Well, I, would things open up? Yes, please. There we go. Ah, yes. Nice. A rotation of the hand. Uh, again, especially if you're going to go into animation, it's so important to show um, movement, show rotation, show that you can take something and maintain that same character. Your hand is a character and take that character and rotate it and it stays the same character even though you're seeing different parts of it. And yeah. so these are studies I do for myself. Um, let me go back here again. Portfolio. Uh, there, there's, oh, here. This is why, you know, the anatomy of the arm. Wow. Um, you know, all these muscles here, I mean, really, it, hate to say it, and it's going to sound ridiculous when you, when you look at this, it's all very simple. It's like puppetry. And there are certain spots where muscles begin, and then, of course, where they end. And really, it's like rigging a puppet. So let me go back to another one here, just a sec. I want to show you. Uh, hello. My pop up. Oh, I guess it's not on here. Um, anyways, okay, here's another one, just a study done at the University of Guelph. And, you know, I painted this one. But, you know, the amazing thing is, and, and, and here's the important thing. Um, study, study the artists, uh, like Leonardo. His anatomy studies are so important because you can see that each of these muscle bands coming down here and the way they wrap the arm through here, um, they show you the, the path of movement. And directions and what we do is I often break down all my drawings into cables and uh, let me let me quickly find a cable one here um, just, oops. So, yeah so you guys can already see from this how uh, you know how much you'll learn for even just three hours I'm with this man <laughs> like look at the just the breadth of knowledge and the skill and you obviously love drawing. Like it just comes across and you love, you know, drawing the human body. Look at this one. This one is actually done when I was in university. Oops, that's uh, from a kid's book. Where's, pop? oh, there it is. That was my university drawing. Oh, that's, wow. Yeah, you know, but the thing is that we had to know all the arteries and veins. So we were, they were training us to be anatomical like illustrators, right? Mm -hmm. So it's very important, and, and it is important to be able to observe and make sense with your eyes. So this was a good exercise. At the time, I just found it really boring because I wanted to know what that muscle and that muscle did. You know, not, not what all these veins and arteries and nerves are. But some of these actually do show up on the surface. So if I was doing, like, you know, and right there, that vein will pop up right there um, on, on a muscle person. So, yeah, you know, if you're going to do... Stuff like that. Um, what I, oh, wait, okay, here, hang on. You were going to show the. Uh, I want to show you a cable, cable study. Yeah. Yeah, just these are some of the pieces from school. So, or general anatomy. Okay, come on, open up. It's taken a bit. I don't know why my laptop is slow. Um, okay. Medical study. Um, yeah, you can see I collect a lot of stuff here. Yeah, you do. I'm trying to, it hasn't opened up, maybe here. But it already just gives students a sneak peek. Yeah. When you study, you know, um, in an animation program, the professors they hire, like, look at the wealth of knowledge just by seeing your library <laughs> and these sketches in front of us. You know, it really shows us how exciting it is to, to study with great professors like yourself that have just accumulated so much knowledge. Well, let me show you. Here's a, here's a student. Okay, you know what I mean? This is actually, this is something I do for myself. It's, it's a life drawing. And then I, have you know, painted the muscles over top of it, just throwing it. Oh, oh cool. So again, these muscles here tell you what's going to happen in the hand. But I'm going to go back to that. That back one. I really want to show you what a student has done. Here, this this is 
amazing. Um, this is our students at Seneca. Um, what they had to do was they had to create a creature. And so they created the creature. So they created that creature. They painted it digitally. All these cables represent muscles. And then, and they had to name all the muscles. So those are the muscles they have to learn. This is second semester. Okay. So hold on to your you know, hats when you get there. And of course, what we do is, is um, oh, if you really, where are we? Well, here's another example. Um, I did this for my students at Humber. This is, oh, it's a small one. Oh, I forget that. I, I'm sorry, I'm taking up too much time, but you can see that this is, again, this is a student that created this and then had to rig it with the muscles and then painted it with the skin on top. So it had to be a final character. So is anatomy important? Yeah. Yeah. And that's, but you know, again, it's not knowing muscles because you have to know muscles. You want to know what the body is doing. And, um, and then, you know, here, oh, there's a, I think we saw this figure before or oh, another one. Oh, there, yes. There's painted. Mm -hmm. So that's second semester. So there we go. So from not really drawing to doing that in second semester, uh, we ask a lot, but they, they deliver. And this is why I want to, this is why I want to be part of your, your workshop. <laughs> You're preparing people. They got dreams. And our job is to sort of help them find that dream. Get there. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're going to do the work, but we can, we can show them the way. Yeah. That, that's, you know, what I, I want to give the students that, that sort of foundation of these snippets of the kinds of drawings they, and the skills they need to develop. And they'll see from even just the two weeks of a little bit of drawing the hand, a little bit of human anatomy, a little bit of um, portraiture, character rotation, whatever it is, perspective, they, they're going to see, Oops. one, some basic foundational skills to continue with. And then two, you know, it gives them a real sense of how much they really have to work. And then it takes time and effort. Um, to learn how to draw and some good guidance along the way. Well, um, absolutely. That's what we're wanting to give. I mean, you don't come out of two weeks with a portfolio. That's not what we do at our portfolio camp. We want to give the students the sort of foundational understanding and the motivation, the excitement. And this is something they always get from your classes. Like you obviously just have this zeal and excitement about how the body moves, even just by you showing us how the hand moves and how it actually has movement all the way up to arm that affects what we can do with these wonderful hands. And you get this love of, of learning, um, you know, ignited in them. And the other thing that I think students get from our camp is they get to see artists who are working in their field at various stages of their careers. And so it's kind of neat for them to see what, what you can share with them. Would you share with us now a little bit about what are you doing in your career as a professional artist? I know you're, you know, a professional instructor, um, but you are a, a working illustrator. Um, you've received many awards and done lots of books. And what's the latest project that you've just finished or something you're looking forward to in your future? Well, I, I finished a book. Um... It called at the pond. It's sort of a meditation on a pond. The paintings are looking into a pond and seeing goldfish. It's a counting book, sort of for my granddaughter. But it was nominated for a Governor General's Award in last mm -hmm. fall. And uh, can you show it's us? A, it's, sorry. Do you have it ready to show us, or? Um, I guess I could show you a picture from it. Um, where would I have that? Oh, hang on. I, I know where. Um, uh, okay. Oops. Shouldn't close that one. Okay, here we go. Where are it? Um, our compilation. Oh, wait. Books. No, our books. Oh, I don't have it on this one here. Have oh, I know where. Hang on. I can just pull up the, the image, web page. Um, oh. Here. Where is the .ca. There we go. Yeah. Okay, let me go back to. There's my children's book web page. No, oh, it's not showing yet, though. Oh, it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I didn't share. Oh. Okay. Uh, brain dead. Okay. Can you see the... 
Oh yeah, we see your web page. Okay, uh, let me see. Ah, there it is. There we go. Okay, there it is. Um, there's at the pond, and these are the pond gallery. Still working out bugs with the web page. No, there are, these are paintings from that book. Oh, wow. So it really was, these are actually what you're seeing up there is the practice pictures. I haven't really posted all the pictures, but it really was a, a matter of looking into a pond and, and, and contemplating, you know, the movement and everything. So yeah, I, that's finished. I'm actually um, itching to get back to the Arctic. Oh. Uh, I was an advisor up there at the landscape and I, some reason, um, you know, I mean, I, I bumped into a, an Inuit on the street in Toronto yesterday. I was at the McMichael two days ago and I saw a show by an Inuit artist. I keep bumping into Northern things and it's saying, get back here, We've got work to do. So what kind of work would you do in the North? I was, I uh, wish I could show it, but it was big, it was paintings and uh, paintings and watercolors and, um, you know, it, it, if anybody wants to go to my Instagram page, man for art, uh, it just M-A-N, the number four and then A-R-T, and that'll show some pieces from the Arctic. Oh, cool. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm going to be putting that on my webpage. But yes, I see I've been scattered in many directions. And so that is... Um, Stop share. Yeah, there we are. Um, yeah, that's one of those things where, you know, I guess I don't have one theme. My, my interest goes in every possible direction, <laughs> so, you it's know, and, and, including still restoring an old house. So, you know, it's like, <laughs> I have to learn to made, focus. You made a career from fine arts to book illustration to instruction and, you know, a, quite a range um, and, you know, interesting it's, it's, first career. Well, it's actually, it's wonderful. I mean, I never intended to become a teacher because I had horrible teachers. And I thought, why, you know, why were they teachers? Because they didn't have any interest in it. And I think, you know, they always say those that can, uh, those that can't teach. You know, I mean, that if you can't do anything else, you'll teach. And to me, it's those who sh can share. And by yeah. sharing, you're teaching. Yeah. And so it's like, yeah, I, I share. And I'll tell you, yesterday I was in Toronto and one of my students from Sheridan from over, well, 23 years ago, started a student film and it's now been finished. It's a long journey because he never gave up on it. And he showed it last night and it was finished by Seneca students. It's, it's going to all sorts of festivals right now. Beautiful film called Nothing to Say. And here I, I was where, when the, the, the film started, he showed me the first drawings as a student. And last night, I was there for the final thing, and my students that I just had were working on the finished piece 23 years wow. later. Wow. <laughs> Dedication. And, well, yeah, and, you know, the thing so is, you might say, well, that's, that. yeah, 23 years. But, you know, like, that's, that's the thing is if you, you know, he worked at DreamWorks. He worked at Disney. I mean, he's worked at major studios, and he's now a professor at Laguna College in San Diego. But at the same time, when you have a dream, you don't let it go great yeah and it's you know, stories like that that I think helps students and their parents frankly you know know that you know this is a possibility like that you know that you can have a rich and gratifying life in the arts and yes it takes dedication but how exciting for you to see this student from from that earlier time you know complete this project with so many different hands involved that's it's really exciting to tell you one more it always makes me proud when i see things like that i mean i get Isn't kind of bit clamped almost in tears i'm just like, so proud I, mean, of you. I said i'm not your father but you know i'm proud of you i know <laughs> but i was you know i i saw a photo of one of my former students it was had worked on zootopia and he, he was holding the the academy you know the um what the you know the Gold statue, what is it called? What's that? The, the Oscar, the Oscar. Yes, the Oscar. And so he's holding the Oscar. And I thought, well, I sent him a note on Facebook saying, you know, congratulations. And he said, thank you. And he said, I got to tell you something. He was in charge of the team that did the sloth. And I don't know if you remember seeing it. The yeah. sloth was amazing. Well, he, he told me that when he was a student, I took them to the University of Guelph to the bone rooms to study the bones. 
And he, he said it, they, but that was so important to what they did. And he told all his people at Pixar about the bone room at the University of Guelph. It's a, wow. That bone room is known at Blue Sky Studios. It is known at DreamWorks, at Disney, and at Pixar. Because I have students that are each one of them. So, and that's the neat thing, too, is they're feeding me stuff that I can give to your students in your class. Yeah. You know, and, and just realizing that those early memories, those first um, experiences of learning, about anatomy that it really stuck with them and they took that into their work and just to hear that I think it helps pe the students really know how you know how important that is to study it and to get that excitement and so neat for you to hear back from these students who have done so well in their careers that they remember that moment oh it is neat yeah. it is neat it is mind neat. you the rest of them are all in therapy but really cool thing. yeah I love it no. So, oh, well, um, yeah. looking forward to this workshop and, and uh, meeting the students and, and great. making a great day of it. And, you know, I'm sure they'll t walk away with a lot more than they think their head can hold, but <laughs> it will fall in place. Well, we're so grateful that you continue to uh, share your experience and excitement for drawing with the students. And one of the things I love about the way you teach is that it's so balanced and holistic that it's always got you know gesture and emotion and movement first right and um and, and then you know in drawing methodology stages of how to build the drawing and then that building that knowledge of, of understanding of the structure like it's so well balanced and encouraging you know, it, it's technical, but at the same time, full of life and encouragement. So it's, it's just a wonderful thing to behold. <laughs> and so, so thank you so much. Well, um, thanks for having me part of it. Yeah, so I'm going to teach the workshop just before that, just to like the basics, like the proportions of the hand and the sort of this more solid um, dimension of the hand um, uh, from more of a schematic point of view to just get their awareness of proportions of the hand first and the you know the volume of it um, so they'll have a little bit of introduction to that and then they're ready for that what's the real structure there not that it looks like a box but why does it look like a box or a cylinder or whatever <laughs> so well, great. Yeah, it's good. it'll be a good fit Excellent. Thank you, and thanks for taking a little time out of your day. My pleasure. Share your love of drawing and anatomy with our students. Yeah, so. We'll see you soon. You take care. <laughs> nice bye to bye. see you. You take care.